Welcome to our journey through history. Today, we delve into one of Nigeria's most defining and tragic events, the Nigerian Civil War, also known as the Biafran War. To the Nigerian Civil War, which raged from 1967 to 1970, was rooted in deep-seated ethnic tensions that had been simmering long before Nigeria gained independence from British colonial rule in 1960. Nigeria is a country of great ethnic diversity, with over 250 ethnic groups. The largest among these are the House of Fulani in the north, the Yoruba in the west, and the Igbo in the east. Upon independence, Nigeria faced the monumental task of forging a unified nation from this mosaic of cultures and languages. However, political and economic disparities soon began to surface, with regional leaders vying for power and resources. A the First Republic saw rising tensions among the regions, culminating in a series of military coups in 1966. The first coup, led by predominantly Igbo officers, was followed by a counter-coup, which brought General Yakubu Gowan to power. Ethnic violence escalated, particularly targeting the Igbo population in the north. A in May 1967, the eastern region, under the leadership of Lieutenant Colonel Chukwamika Odumagu Ojukwu, declared itself the Independent Republic of Biafra. This act of secession was seen as a direct threat to Nigeria's unity, prompting the federal government to take military action to reunify the country. And the ensuing conflict was brutal and devastating. The Nigerian civil war saw intense fighting, widespread destruction, and significant loss of life. The federal forces, aiming to reintegrate Biafra, imposed a blockade that led to a severe humanitarian crisis. A famine became a weapon of war. The blockade prevented food and medical supplies from reaching the people of Biafra, resulting in a catastrophic famine. The images of starving children shocked the world and brought international attention to the crisis. A humanitarian organizations, including the Red Cross and Medicine Sans Fronteras, made desperate efforts to alleviate the suffering, but the scale of the crisis was overwhelming. After nearly three years of intense conflict, Biafra surrendered to the Nigerian Federal Forces on January 15, 1970. General Gowan declared that there were no victors, no vanquished, emphasizing the need for national reconciliation and reconstruction. The Nigerian Civil War left deep scars, but it also highlighted the importance of unity and the challenges of post-colonial nation-building. It stands as a poignant reminder of the need to address ethnic divisions and work towards inclusive governance and equitable development. E today, as we reflect on the lessons of the Nigerian Civil War, we honor the resilience of those who lived through it and the ongoing efforts to build a stronger, more united Nigeria. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories from history that shape our present and future.